Hey guys, this is Colonel Bracket or Smiley, and today I've got a new tutorial, and the tutorial is how to use CC lens. If you don't know what a CC lens is, it's that kind of effect where the lens kind of ripples and it kind of explodes from the center and goes outwards. Um, really cool effect, and uh, that's why I've put in the title brackets ripple effect because I didn't know what it was called when I was originally looking for it, and it took me forever to try and find it. So we're going to make new composition. Um, this one is slightly more complicated than some of the other ones I've been doing, that's fine. So, uh, bear with me. Uh, I mean, it's full screen, I never know why it's not full screen. And we're going to go import uh, a file. So let's use a shot. Do I have a shot? Uh, no, we're going to just use the AKCC. So we drag on AK and put it forward a bit a little bit more here is our clip okay so what we're going to want to do is at this point here where it just starts shooting we're going to want it to kind of explode so we're going to find you're going to type in in your effects preset um, and if you don't have this little bar where it says workspace change this to effects it's what I always use I find it the most useful because um, you're mainly using effects so you can type in CC lens going to drag the lens onto this um, this track uh, and we're going to copy this track so control Z control C control V um, and on this track we're going to delete CC lens we don't need it on the bottom track and this is this looks really weird at the moment so we don't really know what's happening so we're going to go up here to our top track we're going to go to the CC lens we are go to size and we're going to bring it down to zero okay so now it's just a, a normal clip, normal clip, and right at this point here, we want it to shoot. We we want it to kind of explode. So what we're going to do is we're going to click size, and we're going to click this little stopwatch here, and we're going to keep it on zero. We're going to move it maybe just so it's shot a few bullets, and we're going to drag it up to 500. Oh, that's 499, 500, or you can have it slightly before so it stretches the sides a bit, but for this tutorial I'm just going to put it to 500. And then what you're going to get is when it gets to this point, this exploding effect, like that. And the reason it's called CC Lens is because the top layer, what you would usually do is, so let's, let's actually let's do this, let's go to Animation Presets. If you don't have any presets, just put on uh, Effect, let's click on the top layer, go to effect, uh, if you can hear some beeping in the background, I'm sorry, if I, I'm going to turn that off now, quickly, because that's going to get really annoying, off, okay, so we're going to go to effects, color correction, and we're just going to just go to levels, for example, and we can change the levels a bit, so, uh, th wait, let's find, there, so it looks a bit, it looks a bit crazy, that's not a very good example, but you can change it however you want, um, just so it's different on top. And then what happens is, obviously you can like sync this with the music in Sony FX After, or if you like doing music in um, Sony of Vegas. If you like doing music in After Effects, you can, but I don't really like doing any of that in After Effects. So now what happens is, when it explodes, the bottom layer is still normal, but the top layer's got the color correction. And so when the, the color lens explodes, it explodes into the new color correction. Uh, that's a little bit too dark, you can't really see anything at all. Uh, let's make it like like that so it, there's a difference so it goes from this it explodes out and it all darkens and um, the color corrections change that's how to do it if you've got any questions um, send me a message and also if you want to make it if you want to make the gap longer you've got the effect here you can just go to effect CC lens and you've got these two little dots here if you drag them out it'll make the uh, the lens so for example I've dragged it out ridiculously long so it takes forever to the, for the lens to come fully out um, depends what you want to do you can make it really really short so you can barely see it um, when you're actually playing this you wouldn't even see that like that's really really quickly um, so you kind of mess about with it play with it and the best way to get better at these things is just to keep playing with them until you get them right so I hope that that's helped if it hasn't uh, I'm sorry, but send me a message if you've got any questions. Hope you